Hello, I'm Mark Newman. Um, I'm a freelance sculptor. Uh, I mostly work for Saito Collectibles. I've done a lot of their work for uh, probably 10 years or more. But um, I've just been asked to do a uh, little demo for ZBrush. I've been honored to, so it's going to be a lot of fun just to hang around. I'm just going to mess with the face and start working with the sphere. If it's, if it's not working out quite right, I might pop over to a project I have been working on for a while. So um, if you're watching, hello, everybody. If you're not, can't say hello, but anyway, um, so I'm gonna just be starting here and just mess around. Um, and I think they're streaming. If you want to have any questions, you can type them out if I read them. A lot of times I just can't, you know, really focus on what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna start messing with some shapes now. This keyboard is a little different than mine. I'm trying to figure it out as I go, so bear with me. I think I might go to another project I have in here to play with. So I've been messing with this guy for, I don't know, a few days, not too long ago, just trying to figure out this character. long until I attach them all and put them on the same one, so. These buttons are different. <laughs> I'm trying to find them.
ears separate too, so I can mess with the shapes as I'm going. It's, it's getting a little narrow for me, so I want to pull some of this out. Got a better profile now, or a front view on this guy. Sometimes if I smooth everything as I'm working on, like throwing all these areas, just after a while, it's, you know, it's hard to see the surface really well a lot. I mean, unless you have extreme lighting, it's, so I like to try to keep some energy on the surface. So usually, sometimes we use this rake tool and sort of follow the form so that you can kind of see the forms you're working with. What are you better. making? Just a creature design guy I've been working on. Did you make this? Yeah. Yeah, I was working on it's not just today. I worked on it a while back, and I'm just messing around with it now. But, so you can change his whole face. You can How much does that take? So look at that. You can pull his face out. Make him longer like that if you want. Yeah, pull his face out and make his chin more. <laughs> and pull and pull the top of his face out a little more too. Pull the the top of his face out a little more like. Maybe if you would. Like, give, him, give him horns. I got art directors, that's fine. Give him horns. Oh, look at that wedge. Hey, that looks awkward. I know, he doesn't look like he can run his fans now. So now you can just undo all this stuff. So yeah, just push undo and all that goes away. Oh, that's awesome. Make him horns. I can make him horns, let's try that. And give him wings. Make him a demon, but like bat wings. Make him a demon, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if we're not in. I'm sorry if we're. No, no, it's fine. I like the interaction. It helps me. So if you want to do horns, up here I'm masking off an area. I'm reversing it, and now I can just pull these horns right out of his head. This How much does ZBrush cost? It's like 750 bucks, I think, for the program, but it does a whole lot of stuff. I, mean, if I could afford 750 bucks, I'd get it. Yeah, but I can't. 
that are they have a small a uh, smaller version. It does not as much, and it's I think about a hundred bucks or something. It's a lot less. If I could afford a hundred bucks, I'd get it. <laughs> okay, can't afford it. I yeah, have more. Make that one like broken. Make that horn like broken. I mean, you can get a thirty day trial version. Yeah. What? You can get a thirty day trial version. Yeah, and then I'd have to pay. No, no, no. You get a trial and just play around with it, and then talk to these guys. They, they will talk to you about that. So he's got a broken horn there. For a while. No, no, no. That's make really it like cool. broken, broken. Shatter it. There it. we go. That's sick. Crack going on the side. And now make him like fire coming out of his eyes. We could spend a whole day here. Oh, I know. It's longer than that. What's the craziest thing you've ever made? Um. I've made a ton of crazy stuff, so it's hard to see. <laughs> hard to say. Is uh, this one of them? Well, are you ambidextrous? Not really. I'm mostly left handed. I can't really do much with my uh, right hand. You're typing with your right hand. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I throw and catch and, and bat everything else right handed except uh, except drawing. I all draw and sculpt left handed. See, so I can get texture to this if you want. I can come in here. I can add a crackly texture. Dude, that pad is awesome. Well, then that other horn just looks awkward now. Make it look more detailed. So you can add different sizes on here. Like, yeah, that's sick. You get paid just to draw? I'm just here to do an hour demo here, but I, I do this you know, for a living. I make these. They, 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 these can be 3D printed into a figure. So have a, that, that's how they make a lot of the toys and all this stuff you see on the table. This is all done in this program and then print it out. You have fiery eyes. Are you going to color him after? Uh, you can do that. Watch. I'll show you. You can color. Um, I wish I had that pad. Give him feathers. No, that's weird. Yeah, give him feathers. No, that takes too long. Uh, Green is not such a common color. Maybe red. Red, but scaly red. Red, yeah, but like make it scaly. Well, like a reptilian, texture. like a reptile. That's called texturing, Ben. Yeah, see. Um, if I leave these on, I can do it. So see, it's it's just painting parts of them. Yeah. It's on here now, so. It's Make it small. So good. I can do uh, green green horns if I want. Hey Dad. Good you? I'm watch I'm in Comic Con watching someone paint a zebrush. But if you don't want the color, you can turn it all um, off. Paint, again. he's like doing an, an online thing called ZBrush, where he's like he's it's making something out of sculpting. Sculpt. Something. Digital sculpt. He's sculpting something on the computer, and then he can 3D print it. Can I FaceTime you? Sure. You can show the you can show the screen there. I am. Here, can I go closer so we can see? Closer to what? Like, can I like stand in front of it? Yeah. We also, this is going right now. It's bad Wi Fi. Mark. Pretty good, Joe. Are you going to collect this? Yes. 
This is what he does. I didn't make those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I make everything. <laughs> Uh, just messing with some wild textures. I don't like that much. Of course, they're supposed to have these little things that open up and then pop up. I didn't finish it. This is Cyberman. You guys have Dr. Who? Yes. This is Cyberman. Yeah. Well, Jazz, I got a lot of like You want to take a picture? You got your phone? I made these for Halloween. There you go. Uh, I think I'll blend that together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I actually take it the weight. Yes, 
smaller the IRS, but then you got to... You can have risk and stuff too in a bag. Working on inflate, no. Inflate will sometimes give you bubbles. But for this one, maybe just do my way and see what I can do. I've got you on a tangent now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I broke the record. I look like I'm ridiculous. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already going. When am I going to make? I don't know. When I went yesterday, I switched to the French keyboard sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, and that, that index control Z was not doing what it normally does, and it was changing polygroups and all sorts of weird stuff. Oh, wow. Until I realized that it wasn't French anymore. <laughs> How long did it take you to realize that? It was taking a little while. <laughs> I restarted a few times. It still was doing it. Oh, restarted. It's fun.
Okay, um, I don't know if anyone's online, I can't see anyone they're asking questions, so uh, sorry about that. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, I'll just maybe add some more of the eyebrows going. You still don't have a booth, right? I mean, Mr. No. Okay, so. 
It's a lot nicer without it. <laughs> oh, I know. Talking to Dominic Quick in the background. He's an awesome artist. He's here watching how bad I'm doing with this.
Good, Mark. Hey, thanks. I know, just think of anything specific. It's golf, baby. It's golf. Not teaching nothing. You're good. You want us to interact with you? Or you just want to poke us on golf? I told you not to sculpt me at the show, by the way. This is just ridiculous. It's too accurate. I don't want accuracy. At least give me some purple lips. Joseph? Yeah, Joseph went all day last night and then he's got another time. I think Saturday? I remember right. Solomon's gonna go. Joseph. That was my only one. I'm done. Oh, really? Except for here. Look, Mark. Thanks, Brody. I like the shoes, Brody. Those are looking good. We gotta bring the color. We gotta bring my color. Yeah, that's like. I'm here. Can you see the shoes? Oh, I can. Oh, wow. I can see you. We gotta go on. You gotta bring the shoes. Go all the way. All the way up. All the way up. I like the whole outfit. I'm liking the whole outfit. That's a cosplay right there, people. All black. <laughs> hey, don't don't mac my socks. You gotta roll those. You gotta roll those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got the whole set. <laughs> the two. Yeah, of course. Sorry, give me that button. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat. All right. See you today. <laughs> yeah. Funny dog, that's what I said. So like this guy does. And it that does that is what I look like at five o'clock. Especially if I have to get up at five o'clock. I am not a morning person. You're not? No way. See you drink coffee. Who needs coffee? Oh, Can you imagine me on coffee? Seriously? Oh. Not a good decision. Bad choices. Bad choices. Is this a personal project? Yeah, I just messed with this a few. Uh, like half a day before I got here. Just to are you going to print it? Do you want to print it? Well, I got a whole body going. I'm still working on a lot of it. So. Anyway, um, no, I probably won't print it. Not yet, I mean, I will. This is a different one. Yes, we use the I have not been used. Have you used it at all? I mess with it, but I always, you know, if I um, pull something big out, though, it has the big pixelation on it, right? You can change that, though, so it doesn't do it. You can actually turn it off for some of Okay, so. And that would take some configuration. Yeah, yeah, you can configure it how you want it. Because I changed my settings. Paul, Paul does I know. But those are my ears. That's, <laughs> that's, that is accurate. It's like car doors opened up. You want a uh, nose ring in your ear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's typical. You know, it's kind of the same. I like it. And then you, uh, are you going to paint it too, or are you just going to sculpt it? I'll just sculpt and let it sit around, but um, I want to do the whole body this time. I always do a lot of busts, so I don't know if I make a body. Are you still doing any, a lot of bronzing? I, yeah, I've got one that they're now that's finished. I'm bringing another one in next week. I did a, a ball relief sculpt of um, Adam Williams, one of his paintings, um, a fighting figure. 
and it's, it gives a poverty if I want to take that into your products next. But uh, nothing too crazy. It's always just the classic figurative kind of something. And these are your go-to brushes. They're pretty much all the brushes you use. That are pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really do them a whole lot more. Yeah. Every so often, I actually click on one. Oh wow, that's cool. That might rip my spot out of it. I have it too much. Yeah, but well, you coming from a play world, a physical world. I still like when you showed me this ring. So I have that in mind right now. Anyway, I like that. A little texturing. Yeah, sometimes you have to do keep the fine art look. You want to shoot tool marks, you kind of do that. So, so do you do that at like the last day? You do that tool marking, or do you just do it as you go? I do it as I go. Um, um, muscles and stuff and then I'll rake it back like in the clay. Yeah. Then we go back and add this little stuff in the ear is just a fine tooth thing. But it wouldn't work on a piece like this, you know, for a figure piece. Uh, it's more trying to look fine art. But then I'll use just the uh, Oh you change the alpha though. You do Yeah for like I do uh, little textures of this one and then even do a scramble kind of one texture. Boom. There's one I need to think I ask you. Um, if you're doing a texture, somebody told me you could texture surface like just using it this way. Um, like if you wanted to pull on a, a heavy alpha or something. It, it won't, um, you can only do the, what am I saying? Um, put on the texture without distorting, like building on it, you know what I mean? If you want to brush on. Well, there's the build-up option, and then there's also, there is a surface off in the alpha palette. Yeah, what is that? It's building upon the existing surface, so it's going to uh, have the brush interact a little bit different with the alpha. Okay. And that's so, square? In the alpha palette. Okay. And then you have build-up, which is an option in the brush palette itself. So that's also, it's looking more, that's the only difference between the clay build-up and the clay tubes. Is it clay? It clay buildup is clay tooth, but with a buildup option turned on. So it's just adding upon the existing up. surface more of like uh, it's building up, building up. Like if you took a strip of clay, you just threw another strip of clay, you threw another strip of clay. Okay. okay. So we're it's in here and this. I'll find it or what? What did you change about it, my dear? You have to go with the alpha palette. There, drop it off. What did you change? Yeah. What did you change? Yeah, I was here like. Yeah. Hey, that's a handsome sculptor. <laughs> he's been, hey, doing, he's been doing all the detailing, the texturing. I've been doing so. I took the horns off. This is the other head because I didn't like the horns. I put you a little like mohawk on him. Uh, but I lost his body. I don't know what happened. He to made it. a mohawk. Wait, where's his body? It's on this one, but I don't know what happened. So turn up the visibility. Can I see more of your subtitles? Where's his ears? Like this slider right here. There you go. And then turn the eyeball on. What do you mean? Turn the eyeball on of the body parts here. Oh, no, I know that, but um, this, this one had a. I made another head and I added a body to it. The are you are you uh, hiding portion of it? No. Um, oh, that one doesn't have any. Uh, oh, you've got a bunch of undo history that you're at the beginning of it. Right, but there was a point. I don't know. It's probably a lot of it. Yeah. At this point, I think I blended it to the body. So when you're doing something like this, is this a combination of your knowing animal anatomy and human anatomy coming into play a little bit? Yeah, so I want to kind of stretch out his clavicle uh, or his collarbone and yeah. flatten it out, but it's just yeah, using basic human anatomy and messing with it, stretching it out. But, Perfect! <laughs> <laughs>
Be art. That's what I say. Be art. Is he live? Yes, he's live. You want to talk to him, Joe Mena? No. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Mena is here now right, talking to Mark Don't Newman. do too good of a demo. I still have to go Saturday at 10 o'clock, all right? You were supposed to be right before me. I had to do the DC one. Yeah, but, you know, he did a little bit. That looks awesome. Thank you. He's not live. He's live. He's live. We're having a conversation live, so people online can also interact with him. You let me talk to him. You can talk to him, too. I want Joe Mena is here, too, man. He's all the time. I want to give him a hug and a kiss. Like, He's going to be out here. I'm not going to You become the going to do one of these. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh. 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 Work on something else. Oh, yeah, these are mine. No, I like when you I think you should, you should print it. No, I will. When I, get this, I really want to make this guy. This is, I think he's unique enough. Although that kid had me, I just have these damn horns. I don't like them anymore. I can just do it right now. Digital's all my commercial work I do, and that's you know 90% of my time. So anytime I work on my own free, my own stuff. Um, luckily, we get together with a group at, at Pixar, one of their art rooms, with a bunch of friends, and we hire a model and, and do a three-hour sessions every Thursday night for six weeks on it. So that gets speeded back into doing clay still. And then I eventually will maybe bring that to something like a Snake Charmer was started with that class. And then, uh, or just a workshop, we just sculpt. It's not really teaching, but, um, and then I'll take it home and, and work it further, maybe, and uh, hopefully turn it into a piece like that. But, um, yeah, but 90% is all digital now, especially the commercial work. <laughs> you should share your story, it. the fact that you, yeah, you kind of started playing, started learning ZBrush, and you watched videos at breakfast. Yeah, you guys were, I was lucky enough, Paul and um, Andrew Parse invited us a bunch of people to a weekend um, crash course at ZBrush out of the headquarters there. Remember, like six years ago? Yeah, it was eye-opening for me. I was fighting it for so long as a, you know, stubborn old guy trying to just do what he does, but I had to do it. So once I learned the ropes you guys taught me, it was, it just, I had to keep doing it. You said, yeah, you got to just keep messing with it. how easy it is, right? Huh? How easy the program is, right? Yeah, no, it was pretty, it's very intuitive for sculptors that work in clay to, to switch over this. I mean, the interface is pretty once you learn what things are and how to play with it. The right procedures, don't get ahead of yourself with detail. And I mean, just take it a little bit of time, chew it off a little bit. Of time. Yeah, and it's just, Which you'll, is pretty much the approach you did. You'll definitely go through, um, love this and then hate this and love this, you know, <laughs> and then tell you. Well, that's a lot like my artwork. <laughs> 
That's pretty we much all feel that. It's my life. That's what I feel when I look in the mirror every night. Okay, so you know you got about nine minutes left, so you know your time okay. frame. So you know. Yeah, I just, again, I, I didn't plan a big lesson plan here. Just, just, just sculpting away because I'm not getting paid. Or I else don't I know. Made it fun. <laughs> just kidding. I do this many times for free for you guys. Okay. I want to add a little more. Just. Just doing these simple textures. I don't even bring my alphas to do skin and all that. I'm just kind of messing with this stuff. So there's a question coming for you. Do you also, let's see, do you guys also use the traditional sculpting after the concept process? So when you get the concept, are you traditional sculpting or are you just going straight into digital and ZBrush? It's all digital ZBrush because you can just mess around with the face really quick, do all these different iterations or body type and smash it around to get something you want. Are you and getting any concepts anymore or are you just using ZBrush in essence to be the concept? I, I do it all in ZBrush now, concepting and drawing. Um, you know, the work that I do for Sideshow, they usually do a lot of concept drawings and have it, and then the sculptor will start on it. So they have a design. Sometimes it's specific, sometimes it's loose, and then you can mess around with it in ZBrush. But um, it, it, I never go to ZBrush and then print it out and then work on it in clay to add more detail because it's you can't add more detail than ZBrush now, so uh, traditionally that is. Um, I heard some people do a sculpt in clay rough, scan it, and then into ZBrush and then work and build it from there. But that seems like another step, extra step yeah, that you don't need really. Yeah, so you can do it all this way. So how big is he in the world that you're thinking? Like, is he like 20 feet tall? Is he? Yeah, and I didn't want him to start thinking of Avatar or anything like that. So I'm gonna change his body type a little more. But I, I was thinking about like 15 feet tall. I want him to look fast. Like I want some pose of Jess coming out, like scrabbing around. He heard a noise over here, and I just uh, I don't know. I'm so messing with it. I just I got the face. And now I'm messing with the body. I'll probably add some elements to have costume elements or weapons or something. But so when you're building something like this, uh, do you think about his or her or its character trait when you're doing the sculpt? A little bit. This guy, I just I sort of found the face. I thought he looks kind of, you know, he was mostly apish looking. And then I added these ears and that gave him a whole different look. So then I thought of a speed kind of this guy. He's fairly fast. So you kind of you kind of do build up and you think of an idea you put it on there is it working is it not working yeah and start, and then, it's kind of like a organic process for you yeah and then this this face is long so it kind of it works on a long I, 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 had a, I had a stocky neck kind of the gorilla neck at first and it just didn't work I, I was going to say I could see some of the gorilla skull a little bit yeah in there. So then I, but then I wanted to add a long neck and then we got long limbs and I like anatomy so I want to get the shit out of this thing oops excuse me that's right do you know how many sculptors are at Sideshow now, or like with the group you work with? You're working out of your house, right? So. Yeah, I work in my house. In-house they have, I think, six, five or six. Six, I think. Yeah. I think six. And then they use a bunch of guys like me from all over the world. Yeah, Martin Canale, yeah, Bell, uh, Daniel Bell. Daniel Bell, the yeah. new rock star, and it gets awesome. Um, Shane yes. also is really enjoying watching you sculpt live. I think, think the Cherry Brothers also, I really think Shane, appreciate it. It's hard to talk and sculpt at the same time for me, but that's why I'm slow here doing this. That's what I'm here for. That's why Paul's getting mixed up. I'm just here to talk. Time. Nothing else. All I take is that. Crowd live. Yeah. Yeah. I could probably pull up a file. I have a file. I've got a different alpha here. I have all the material, the cost of material. I don't know if that's the type. Sometimes I just like to push around the surface to find a uh, here. Find the anatomy and I need one. What do you need? Anatomy and try to keep it mapped out right. I can, you know, uh, I'll re 
reiterate some of these body notes. Just kind of sketching these, these uh, separations of muscles just to get an idea again. You just back off that, undo it, you don't want it there. I like a quick way to add some texture sometimes. It's, um, it's kind of fun to just add a, one of these textures with a mask. Uh, operation. Okay. I didn't hurt that usually, then you can swell this up. Deformation. I need to plate slightly here if you want to add this texture. So now he's got this. Automatic kind of uh, spiny texture, uh, lizardy, puppy. Yeah. And these are down and dirty. Last <laughs> for the details. Uh, yeah. 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 So last for that. Come up with this scramble on it, and you can kind of scramble in this. So my time's about up here. Um, so again, just, just mess with the guy. Uh, if I got, you know, sometimes about reposing this, so you know, you have to be, uh, he's in a high risk now, not, not a subdivision, so I'll make it, probably make it into subdivisions and repose it. It's kind of messing up detail if you got I was just settled pretty much on a pose before I uh, got into detail. So, again, this is just, just messing around with this guy. We got one minute, Mark. All right. So whoever whoever was watching, I appreciate it. Uh, it's been fun. Not very interactive. I'm sorry, but um, we'll see how it goes the next time. But, so anyway, thank you guys. I'll leave it here. And we're off. Thank you very much. All right. I'll see you. Hi. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Sorry, I keep forgetting this camera. <laughs> you can see me. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching.